The kids are having Kool-Aid, bam, you're in an accident. It's all over the carpet. That was the before, this is the after. Let me talk a little bit about removing Kool-Aid stains, either the orange or the red. Uh, this video was actually designed for a training class. And uh, it actually was done with my iPhone. I was holding it in one hand and uh, shooting, or doing the repair with the other. So sorry about how jiggly it is. Okay, that chemical I sprayed in there is a chemical designed to uh, bring up that Kool-Aid. What happens is, is it soaks in, attaches itself to the Kool-Aid, and then when you put an iron on it, the uh, steam, the heat from the iron is, is uh, boiling the uh, chemical and it's bringing the chemical up uh, by wicking. It's wicking itself up through the uh, towel uh, from the carpet and it brings the red up. Uh, which is a great idea and it also has oxidizers in it so what little bit of orange that's left in there will uh, disappear or become translucent uh, to where you won't see it in the carpet uh, we do this for body shops and uh, car dealerships uh, you always have kids drinking the orange juice and your only alternative other than this is dyeing the carpet which it never feels or looks the same even if you use an acid base uh, dye uh, acid base dyes are translucent so you can see through them they uh, just change it a shade or two so if it had a red in it even if you use an acid base dye uh, something that vibrant would not go away and if you use a uh, a vinyl coating uh, you'd have to shoot so much it'd make the carpet feel stiff so uh, your only alternative is to replace the carpet. Many times we can uh, pull out the red far enough to where we just have to do a light coat with the acid-based dye or the vinyl coating. Just enough of a blend to uh, make it go away like 98, 95% right around that area to where they'd never even notice it if they didn't know it was there. And if they did, many times they do know it's there when I do the repair. They're excited because they didn't have to pay for a whole new carpet. Or if uh, the, the price is so close to being totaled, uh, just having to remove everything on the interior of a car to replace the carpet, put the carpet in and put everything back in again might put it over the edge. Where this you can do for between $125 and $200. Uh, and have it all done uh, w when we do this type of uh, uh, stain removal and we do many different types of stain removals but uh, it, it when we do this style of uh, stain removal it, it's a, a long process you have to do it four or five times over uh, to get all the uh, color out of it and if you send it to a detailer and see if they can scrub it out first and maybe they use a citric acid or a bleach or uh, even an ammonia can uh, damage what's called the dye sites. The dye sites is where the color is in on nylon uh, carpets or, or synthetic carpets. Uh, and you can permanently damage them and once they're permanently damaged we cannot pull out this uh, red again so that that's the only downside with this is you can't really use any uh, type of cleaner that can uh, damage the dye sites and many detailers end up using something strong that could damage and set the stain so uh, anyhow this is probably about my third or fourth pass on this and why we're doing it I, I also want to explain we do uh, many other types of stains uh, one very common for uh, body shops is when a kid is holding a soda or an orange juice or something like this and it hits the headliner uh, if you're not careful with a headliner 
you can uh, damage the headliner trying to clean it, especially if they use any type of solvent on it. It'll uh, release the adhesive on the headliner and cause it to sag. Uh, we do steam cleaning uh, with uh, headliners uh, to get most of the stains out. Uh, uh, usually if you send me a picture I can tell you if I can get it out or not or what the odds are on getting it out. Alright, it looks like we're getting pretty close to getting done with this thing. Something I wanted to show you is uh, how much color we actually get out of uh, this. Oh no, we have a little bit more to go here. That's uh, right there. I, I, I went a little heavy on the iron and see where it's turning brown right there. That's uh, it's getting so hot. I'm uh, burning the uh, towel. And we want to try to avoid that. Uh, that just means it's becoming so dry that it's not steaming up over in that area. So I would want to add more chemical before I iron much longer in that area. So that looks like that's pretty close to where we want to be. Uh, one thing I want to show you here is these are three rags. That's how much red I pulled out of that one stain. And here it is, all done. And that's what it looks like after it's finished. And coming up here, I have a little of a before and an after. And here we go. This is the before. Yuck. And here's the after. There it is. And we're done. Thank you.